Hi there, Bards Moms, Bards 2 families. Uh, moving ahead this semester, I thought that it would be helpful to understand where we're going. So I made a quick roadmap of what's coming up. We've been doing primarily review in terms of our writing in Bards, a uh, review of what we learned in Bards 1. However, uh, our grammar, we were reviewing that and then getting some new, bigger concepts. We've really gotten almost all of the grammar concepts now, aside from a few things we'll be picking up that are more, a little bit more um, detailed and complicated. But those are uh, few and far between over the semester. The big change is coming in our writing, and we're just adding more skills. We're also adding them in a different way. She's setting us up very nicely to do the work that we're going to do in P&P 1 when we get there. So I did make up a roadmap. I have one here. I will attach it to uh, this email. Basically, the way that it's set up, we're entering into week 17. But you can see that we have been using the narrative story that we started on week 15. That's why I bolded it that we've been using that for all three of these weeks to learn the skills that we've got. So I did make a list of these are the new concepts that are introduced and whether it's grammar or copia or um, writing skills, I listed the things that are introduced here and then the writing skills that are practiced throughout each of the weeks. You can see over in the final product category, that's where a final paper would be due. And uh, there's not that many papers, there's only a few, because we're really practicing all of these skills with each of those papers. So just to give you a rundown, uh, the new thing that we picked up so far between weeks 15 and 16, we already knew about actions and non-action scenes um, and how to divide those scenes up into divisions. Then we started to pick up narrative development. That's where we talk through Theon 6 and sort of figure out where some of those scenes would be. Captions, the kids are familiar with that from Bards 1. And uh, then we also picked up the new skill called essential elements. And that's working back through the narrative again and underlining anything that's essential. Those are almost always related to Theon 6 again, if there's a new character if there's a new scene, a new place, if there's um, how things happened, like did he do it joyfully or did he do it with sorrow? Those are, those are part of that. Those are essential elements. It's a, supposed to be a quick read through, a quick underline. So that was something that we've picked up. Um, then we started with summaries. So we use those essential elements that we've underlined and under the caption for that, for that section or for that action, we use the essential elements to write ourselves a short one or two sentence summary. Um, then we work back through our editing. The new skill we're going to pick up this week in week 17 is um, revising the sequence. So instead of starting at the beginning of the story, we're going to learn how to start in the middle of the story and rework it and have flashbacks and flash forwards. And we're going to revise the point of view. We've already done some of that. The kids, actually, a lot of them really enjoy uh, putting it into first person. So um, we've already done some of that revising from point of view. Then we'll turn in our last paper um, at the end of week 17. We'll turn in that paper. We get a week off to work on writing poetry, basically. And then on week 19, we will start reading a new story. You can see that I bolded it. Because all of these weeks that are yellow, for four weeks, we're going to work primarily with that, with that one narrative story. I'm going to have them read that story in week 18. That way, that story that's eight pages long, we can work, it, work through it in class when we get there on week 18. I'm sorry, week 19. So if they've read it in week 18, when we're simply doing poetry, then we will get to week 19 and we can do it in class so that I can do all of that discussion, literary analysis. Um, we'll work through the narrative development and the scene, some, the scene actions, that sort of stuff together in class so that you're not doing all of that at home as mom. Um, we'll do it together as a class. 
Then we're also going to learn outlining. Um, we're going to learn, we're going to use those same skills. And then when we get to the end of these four weeks, we're going to learn to take all of those summaries and condense everything down into a one paragraph pre-C. So all eight pages of that story is going to turn into one paragraph. And then we're going to take the one paragraph and narrow that all the way down to one sentence in a pre-C. So that whole eight page paper turns into one sentence. What's great is she gives us four weeks to work on all those skills with that one paper, that one narrative. Then the next week we start the new narrative, which is King Arthur. That's 14 pages, so the kids will have that read before they come. We'll do a bunch of that work together in class. And she gives us three weeks to do all those same skills. We don't pick up any new skills. We just use those same new skills we've learned. We condense it down into three weeks for more practice. We then get a week off at week 26 to do some more poetry and to read the next selection, which is from Macbeth. That's 10 pages long, and we do all of those same writing skills again in only two weeks. So basically the format is this chunk of time that I have in green, we're learning some new skills. The next chunk of time, all in yellow, we're learning a few more, we're learning a few more skills, spreading them out over four weeks so we can do them well. We take those same skills and we condense it down and practice it in three weeks time. Then we take those same skills and condense it down to learn it in only two weeks' time to practice that. So, um, I'll be letting you know, but I think that my goal right now is whenever we reach a final paper and have done the, the different pre-Cs, which are the condensations, I'll have the kids turn in all of their things. I want to see their outlines, their summaries, their um, final paper and their precis, just so I can get an idea of how we're doing, how we're on, what we're understanding. So that as we work on the next cycle, I can see where to really shore up and make sure that they understand concepts. Okay, so I'm trying to pull into class what would be hard for moms to do at home. And I'm trying to give the kids the skills to work independently at home and to give you as moms enough information that you can help them as need be. So those are my goals. Just wanted to keep you in the loop. If you have any questions about this basic, super basic roadmap that I wrote up, just let me know. Okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.